Criminal law. Non-fatal offenses against the person. Section 18. Wounding and GBH. The offenses of wounding and grievous bodily harm, GBH, are found under two separate sections of the Offenses Against the Person Act 1861. Wounding or GBH under Section 20 represents the lesser offense which carries a maximum penalty of five years imprisonment and is a triable either way offense. Section 18 Wounding or GBH is a more serious indictable offense and carries a maximum sentence of life. This video will focus on the offense under Section 18. Please see separate video for Section 20. Section 18 of the Offenses Against the Person Act 1861 provides, Whosoever shall unlawfully and maliciously by any means whatsoever wound or cause any grievous bodily harm to any person, with intent, to do some grievous bodily harm to any person, or with intent to resist or prevent the lawful apprehension or detainer of any person, shall be guilty of a felony. The actus reus of an offence under Section 18 consists of 1. Unlawfully 2. Wound or cause GBH 3. On any person 1. Unlawfully Wounding or GBH may be classed as lawful in some circumstances. This covers those who are acting in self-defence or prevention of crime and in limited circumstances where the victim has consented. For example, surgical interference and where the injury results from properly conducted games and sports. For a more detailed review of the circumstances in which consent may operate, see the separate video on consent in criminal law. The Defense of Reasonable Punishment of a Child under Section 58 of the Children Act 2004 is not available to the offenses of wounding or GBH. 2. Wound or cause GBH. Note there are two separate offenses created under Section 18. Firstly, the offense of wounding and secondly, the offense of GBH. The defendant does not need to commit both to incur liability. One is sufficient. Wounding. According to Moriarty v. Brooks, 1834, a wound exists where there is a break in the continuity of the skin. Lord Lyndhurst set the definition of a wound as an injury to the person by which the skin is broken. If the skin is broken and there was bleeding, that is a wound. The case of McLaughlin 1836 established that a scratch or graze which does not pierce all seven layers of the skin does not constitute a wound. An internal rupture of blood vessels will not amount to a wound. In JCC, a minor, v. Eisenhower, the victim had been hit by a pellet from an air gun causing bruising. This did not amount to a wound but simply a BH. A wound therefore obviously includes stab wounds and gunshot wounds. Minor cuts will also suffice. Provided it has been established that there has been a break in the continuity of the skin, it will amount to a wound. There is no threshold of severity. A pinprick will suffice. Grievous bodily harm means really serious harm. In DPP v. Smith, 1961, the Lord Chancellor, Viscount Colmure, stated, whether one is considering the crime of murder or the statutory offence. Bodily harm, needs no explanation, and, grievous, means no more and no less than, really serious. In R. V. Saunders it was held that where it is obvious that really serious harm was intended, a direction which omits the word, really, is not a misdirection. According to R. V. Ashman, 1858, it is not necessary that the harm should be either permanent or dangerous. In assessing whether the particular harm was grievous, account has to be taken of the effect on and the circumstances of the particular victim. This position was stated in R. V. Bollum, 2004, where it was held that bruises and abrasions were capable of being GBH on a 17-month-old child, when they would not normally be considered really serious harm if inflicted on an adult. It is for the jury to decide whether a particular injury constitutes really serious harm. In R. V. Brown and Stratton, 1997, Lord Justice Potter held that the question of what amounts to really serious harm is to be objectively assessed. It is clear from R. V. Burstow, 1997, that GBH includes psychiatric injury. Whereas Section 20 uses the word inflict, Section 18 uses the word cause. The case of R. V. Burstow suggests, 
On this aspect both offenses should be treated in the same way and inflict should be interpreted to mean cause. Both the legal principles of factual and legal causation need to be established. Please see separate video entitled, Causation in Criminal Law, for an explanation on these concepts. 3. On any person. Whereas the section 20 offense refers to another person, the section 18 offense refers to any person. This means it can be committed on oneself. The mens rea of wounding or GBH under section 18. For section 18, the defendant must have either intention to cause really serious harm or intention to resist or prevent the lawful apprehension or detainer of any person. Where they have intention to resist or prevent the lawful detainer of persons, they must also have either intent to cause really serious harm or be reckless as to whether really serious harm will result. In summary, wounding or GBH under Section 18 is an indictable offense with a maximum sentence of life. GBH is where the defendant unlawfully caused really serious harm to another and wounding is where blood is present. The two offenses are distinct. Blood is not a requirement of GBH and serious harm is not necessary for wounding. For both wounding and GBH, the defendant must either intend to cause really serious harm or intend to resist or prevent the lawful apprehension or detainer of any person. This video is part of a series of videos on law from www.elawresources.co.uk. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash at elawresources. It's free to do so and will help us to keep providing these videos. Check out our website which provides lecture outlines and case summaries. See also www.elawrevision.org.uk for revision games and quizzes. Thanks for watching.